10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Vehicle is pitching down range. All right, 30 seconds into flight, the, the rumbles are still building here in the Raptor's nest. We're seeing 32 out of 33 engines lit on the Super Heavy right now. Coming up shortly is going to be max Q, that maximum aerodynamic pressure as we go uphill on the vehicle. Max Q. All right, we just passed through max Q, so we're going to continue on up. We still have about vehicle is a supersonic. minute and 30 seconds until we get to stage separation. Starship now flying faster than the speed of sound. And we'll start to see those stagger down. They're going to turn off in banks, so you'll see the lights on the bottom left screen of the engines that are active start to, to turn off in different groups. Just you're going to see those off. three center ones lit. Ship ignition. Stage separation confirmed. Boost back there, start up. Acquisition is in Houston. Hot stage confirmed. Ship under its own power booster boosting back. Looks like all 13 are lit. Kate, we've got a booster on the way back to the Gulf and a ship on the way to space. Ship power and telemetry now. All right, the first stage currently performing the steps. boost back burn. As you can see on your screen in the ship bottom left hand pressure. corner, uh, we were only using the 13 center engines. Uh, heard confirmation there. Uh, good boost back burn shutdown. H2 tank pressure is normal. Lots of excitement. So, right here, this is. This is our view of the jettisoned hot stage. Uh, as we mentioned, this is a temporary fix to help uh, reduce the weight of the booster. Uh, so we have the super heavy booster. Future iterations will have a lighter weight integrated hot stage structure that won't need to be jettisoned. Now, after we jettison that hot stage, this, the booster will begin to uh, uh, attempt its water landing in the Gulf. In the meantime, the ship will coast for about 40 minutes or so up to an altitude of 214 kilometers. And after its coast phase, it will attempt a controlled re-entry, including a flip maneuver and a landing burn just before splashing down in the Indian Ocean. But as a reminder, we are not attempting- trajectory nominal. Good news there. Trajectory is looking good for the ship, which is on the right-hand side of your screen. At this point in time, as you can see, um, we have no engines lit on the booster. It is coasting back toward uh, the Gulf of Mexico for a water landing and ship under power of all six Raptor engines. There's three uh, sea level and three vacuum Raptor engines uh, that are lit, as we can see on your screen. We will be exciting, igniting 13 engines, and this is a great view on your left-hand side, is a view, is three views from the booster and your right-hand side, a view from the ship. And you can see those grid fins on your left-hand screen rotating and turning to guide the booster, and there's that landing burn. That landing burn just begun, and you can see the water below. Congratulations to the SpaceX team! 
ship has entered terminal gate. That was absolutely incredible. The Expected first successful Houston. splashdown of the super heavy booster. Loved seeing it just tip over <laughs> into the water before <laughs> losing that footage. Expecting those, and just there we could see that those have also successfully cut off. Now we're, we're getting closer to re-entry. You know, we're going to be moving at hypersonic speeds at more than five times the speed of sound. We're going to see that plasma start to build. So, Kate, Jesse, excitement coming up. Yeah, as you can see with that view on your screen again, high def brought to us by Starlink. We can see the plasma beginning to build as the ship is getting closer to the Earth's atmosphere. Now, how, how, let's talk a little bit about how Starf will survive reentry, hopefully, and control itself. Exactly. We've been talking about this, this entire flight test. There's 18,000 hexagonal ceramic tiles surrounding the bottom portion or the Earth-facing side been of the ship. Through 100 kilometers altitude. Good attitude for entry. Great call outs there. Now, during atmospheric re entry, the vehicle is going to see temperatures as high as 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit or over 1,400 degrees Celsius. So, those tiles are there to help protect the vehicle from this extreme heat. Yeah, and the flaps will help control it. Now, one noticeable difference I see immediately, um, those flaps are not moving as much as they were on flight three. So that is a great sign, right? We had uh, unplanned loss of uh, roll control on flight three. So we added some additional thrusters and we can see that uh, they're working well and we have a much stable, more stable view. So those flaps, there's four of them, two at the top and two at the bottom. Um, they're made out of stainless steel. And uh, yeah, they, they help steer, steer the ship, which as we can see, the plasma continuing to build. Uh, now, if the ship survives re-entry, <laughs> it will have to perform a flip maneuver uh, as well as a landing burn. We saw this demonstrated a cup in a couple of high altitude flight tests back in like 2020, 2021. Um, similarly- Temperatures increasing on the nose with unexpected ranges. And we're, we're strategically putting some cameras around the vehicle to just look at the, the different areas. Looks like we got the flap starting to come apart a little. Yeah, it does appear that we have a little bit of burn through there. We can see pieces of the vehicle flying off. What a show it has been. It's been like watching Interstellar or something. <laughs> This is wild to see this, but the ship is still coming down, which is incredible to see. Temperatures have stopped increasing. How far can it go? That is the question. Keep your eye on the altitude in the bottom right-hand corner. We're at 54 kilometers right now. Now, ultimately, the data is the payload today. We've been saying it multiple times. We're the, you know, our teams are, are sitting, uh, reviewing this data live, learning where the hot spots are. As you can see, there's an <laughs> obvious hot spot there with the flap um, and learning how we can improve this design. The goal was to get as far through this high, uh, this high heat re-entry as possible. <laughs> we wish we could see more, but we'll take it. <laughs> Starship is at two kilometers altitude, terminal block. Landing beam startup for Starship. All right, good news there. Shutdown was commanded. 